Salon Salon. This is Julie. So y'all, I went to this festival the um, last week, the weekend just passed, and the sun. When I tell y'all the sun, it wasn't no joke. I'm in Florida, but it has. The weather is crazy. It be raining one minute, it's cold one minute, but it was blazing hot. So I literally, y'all might can't see, but I got ripened and it burnt me. So my face been peeling and stuff like that. So, but I'm gonna tell y'all more about the festival because it was two vendors that had um, cop, um, counterfeit versions of my earrings. And I'm gonna do an, another video and I'll tell y'all about some of that experience because it was crazy. Um, as far as the festival, it was. I mean, the overall festival was nice. I'm going to show y'all a picture of me. Let me get to this. I have a lot of earrings to show y'all. I'm doing um, a lot of um, steps to protect my work, which my work is protected, but I'm doing a lot of things. I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff as far as um, protecting my designs. For instance, these right here, I have. show y'all how to do this design. I'm still the owner of this design, but I'm going to allow y'all to use the design, okay? So, you should get a video for these soon. And if it's available, I'll put it in the description box as I'm doing this video. Because it's going to be, a, it's going to probably be the next video that's coming. Alright, so let me show y'all. I got a lot of earrings to show y'all. A lot. Okay, this pair is um, some Chakra Life Butterfly Earrings. Um, a sister on here is Nick, named Nikki J Beauty. Me and her is doing a trade on art. Um, she do like home decor and stuff like that. So. I made these for her, but they're also, she got the first pair, but they're going to also be online. And they got the chakras, the color of the, um, the seven chakras. And then I just put like some little swirls. And then this is the back of them. Yeah, so they, they came out really cute. And they're going to hang like that. They came out really pretty. Alright, so that's the first pair. I'm going to show y'all a lot of unks. Unks is one of my favorite symbols because it means life and we're in the now. Um, you know, in religion it talks about Esau, Yeshua, Jesus. He died on a cross. And then, you know, a lot of people says the Christianity cross represents death because Jesus died on it. So it's like um, my poet Freedom Speaks said, if he would have died of a hand of a gun, would you rock one around your neck? Which some people do rock guns around their neck. But it's crazy because if that symbol of the cross, if Jesus would have died of a gun, um, people would have them instead of the cross. You know? And everybody walking around with crosses. So why would you... People could do what they want to do, but wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be dope? To rock life instead of death. So y'all gonna see a lot of unks. Okay, this is another unk, unk pair. You know, the, the unk represents um, man, woman, and child. It's the key of life, everlasting, eternal. And, wow, the screen doing something crazy, y'all. Um, yeah, man, woman, and child, everlasting, eternal. And it's the key of life. So, this is a pair I did with my fingers. Kind of, well, with this, I kind of like took the brushes like that. And then I put this, it's a really pretty color, green. Y'all, y'all not getting the fact of the green, what it is. It's kind of like a silver olive green, the unk. It's really pretty. These are really pretty. Oh, maybe you can see it from there. See that? So pretty. For some reason, it was making it look different. So that's those. <clears throat> um, what I want to show y'all next? Okay, since we doing we doing the unks, we doing the unks. I'm gonna show y'all a lot of unks. 
Look how dope those is, y'all. I I um I put glitter on here, then I stained the bottom, and then I put a little at the top. So dope. This is the back. So fly, so fly. Mm. So we're gonna go in these. These are fly too. Y'all see how dope those is? I thought the purple would just make them. I thought the purple would just make them um just stand out with the um red, black, and green. And then this is the back. It's just black. So fly. And they will hang like this. Wow. It's crazy because I've been doing this. This is going to be my 12th year. And I'm just starting to fall all over in love with creating. You know, for people stealing my designs and people mass producing them. It's like no matter what, I'm still going to... I'm still going to... Still gonna um I just love doing what I do. Cause it's a divine thing. It's not just let me get some earrings and try that. It came to me spiritually. And when it came to me spiritually, it told me it it, it you know when we get things we don't really when it's a spiritual thing, you're gonna have warfare with it. So all the stuff I'm going through with people, you know, stealing my designs and all that. That's a part of it. These are bigger than earrings. I was telling a friend of mine that the other day. Because y'all will be surprised. The stuff I done been through with these earrings. <laughs> these spiritual amulets. Because. From. A celebrity trying to steal my stuff. That's in the hip hop world. That's a whole story. But I don't think I ever tell it. Um, It's a trip. So. All the stuff that been coming at my earrings. And like I say, they're not just earrings. They are very spiritual. Um, okay, so I want to show y'all this right here. But I don't think I have it. the other one over here. And I thought I picked I it up. just show y'all this one. Now, the other one is mainly similar to this one. Another unk. They fly. They'll be online. And then this is the back. I thought if I see the other one while I'm looking through this, because we got I got a lot of earrings to go through, y'all. So this is dope. The crazy part, I did this pair. Ooh, I did this pair some years ago. I just never finished. I told remember I told y'all that I had like this big old bin of earrings that I work on, and I put it, and I just go back and pull some out. This is one of those pairs. I think I got another pair in here. Matter of fact, let me go on and show y'all them. That's like that. So these will be online. This is another pair that was like that. I had started on these years ago. Well, just some little flowers on flowers. They look really cute. And I just finished them and beaded them up. And this is going to be a one of a kind pair. And this is the back. This was one out the box. So I go to that big old bin. It's a huge bin. Maybe I go through that. That'd be a cool little video to look through, look at some of that stuff and see how my art was. And then I get it and go in the box, get it, um, and just finish it up. I think there will be some cute videos. I don't know what I named those videos. So that's this pair. Yeah. So that's what, yeah, I do that. I go in there. Grab a pair, kind of show y'all what I'm going to do, put them down, and then finish them up online. That'll be cool. So that's those. Oh, I know y'all done seen these. I don't know why I got these. Y'all done seen these, but I'll show y'all. This is a pair that I showed y'all. For, for my new subscribers that haven't seen them, they're pretty much a good, a bestseller. Just some, um, kind of like a mud cloth design for the Gari. Yeah. I don't know how they get in there. And then this is a pair. I did another pair like this that got the roster colors, like the red, yellow, and red, gold, and green. But they sold, and I forgot to get a picture of them. 
but it's just like a, a little small Africa in the middle. And then we got these right here, red, black, and green beads. And then they pop like this big. And I was like, dang, I forgot to get a picture. It's a, so many designs that y'all haven't even seen that I have made. So these are dope. It's another version with that those colors, the roster colors. So I put them online. So that's those. Ooh. Should I make this video a long, long video? Yeah, I'm going to make it long. This is going to be a long video, y'all. So get your popcorn and let's just look at some jewelry, some, some hand-painted, original hand-painted jewelry. Okay, so this is some finger-painting pieces. Um, I have a video to show y'all how to finger-paint. And the thing about the finger-painting is all about how you put the colors together. So I thought these colors went very well together. And then the, I didn't even do the back of these. Some things you just want to focus on the front. And just want to focus on the front. So. So fly. So that's those. Put that back. And then since we on the finger painting. I'm going to show y'all another pair. And then the, thing, the beautiful part about finger painting. Never, it's going to always be unique. No matter if you kind of do the same colors. It's going to always be different. And I want it to just keep the back black. And then some butterfly finger paintings. Okay. So what can I, I have to show you all these right here. This is just a design. I don't even know what expiring. It just came out. Just a simple, well, oh, dots and lines and then a little finger paint on the back. Butterflies. The sun. I love butterflies. The summertime coming, you know, in the fall and a lot of butterfly earrings sell pretty good. Um. My son came in the room and he was like, Mom, make a pair of earrings that look like the sky and it's raining. So he he inspired these. So I made these. I like the blues on them. The blues are so fly. Look at that. Oh, I had the elbow backwards. So he wanted something with the the clouds. He said the clouds. I think I said the sun. He said the clouds and Look like it's raining, so I came up with this. Mm -hmm. It came out pretty. And then I did do some finger painting on the back of it. These are some beautiful earrings. Very much a wearable art. So my, my, my son, my baby boy, um, he's 18. He's He inspired those. You know what? I was at um the festival the weekend just passed, and my my poet, the, the the guy over my poetry troupe, my, the CEO of my poetry troupe, his um, girlfriend, we was talking about just our sons and stuff. And she has a son. And he looks so much like Muhammad Ali. I should have took a picture of him. He looks so much like Muhammad Ali. And she told me she had him. And I think, I think he looked like he about 8 or 9 or 10. And then the other one was probably like 11 or 12. And then she said she had a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old. And she was telling me, I mean, a 17-year-old and a 21-year-old. And she was telling me her 21-year-old um, stayed out of town. But her 17-year-old was going to graduate um, from from high school. Don't you know somebody killed him on uh, Monday? Uh, murdered him. Shot him. I don't know how many times they shot him, but they said they heard 14 shots. 17 years old and we literally was just talking about him Saturday and he got killed that Monday. I put the link in the description box but it's just crazy how our babies are just dying at the hands of our of ourself but the purpose the puppeteers of white supremacy has so much to do with it. Whew. 
yeah so i just wanted to say that so here we go we're gonna show y'all some of the omex one of the original indigenous people of the america south america mexico and all that and this is just another um way that they would call themselves i think it's pronounced she but um yeah they don't own the omex i just no no i wanted to put the it kind of, I wanted to use colors that kind of remind me of ancient. So we, I made them brown, but I also wanted to use the, the the stone, like the gray, and then put some gold in it. And then I just banker painted the back. So if y'all go to the site and y'all don't see these, a lot of these designs, they they're gonna be on there. I just gotta you know take the pictures and upload them. Oh, you came for y'all. I don't know how many I done showed y'all, but we done went through a lot. <laughs> okay, here go another pair of onks. This is my original onk design. I designed this onk. Yeah. So these are the handles on. Yeah, fine. The back is finger painted. Okay. Let me show y'all these together. These are two stars. They just some stars, y'all. I thought they'd be cute when the summertime the sun hit them. I see how the light hit them. That's how they look when the sun hit them. Well, I got two of these pairs. So there we go those okay so we got this pair right here which say black is beautiful with some glitter on it it's so bold in a very much a statement piece and we got the back right there i always thought red black and white can go together so a little bit of gold or silver but that's those y'all Back is beautiful. Back is beautiful. Sit down in the air. I don't take pictures of that. And then I showed y'all y'all done seen this this um design, but it was in um the gold, the orange and green. So this is the kind of like reddish or burgundy and gold. White, black, period. That's the back. Okay, so we got those. Did I show y'all them too fast? Yeah, I think I did. I put some red glitter in the um the words. Maybe give them a little bling bling. <laughs> Okay. And then these are mud cloth designs. I'm pretty sure y'all done seen these before. Just yeah, I'm, I I done showed y'all these, but this the, for the new people. Mud cloth designs. I think I did a little something different. Cause see, some of the pairs right here I just pulled off the bend when I was bending. So these are like a slightly different version from the ones that's online, but they similar. And then this is a pair I'm going to show y'all that kind of remind you of this print that I have in my ear. But y'all will see these in that video that I got coming up. Yeah, they, they fly. Kind of the print similar, but different a little different from this one but they could kind of be in the same category i see it yeah that's those okay and then these right here are proud black woman just some little small proud black woman earrings. 
probably like a two inch with the little um, orange and green. You know, I'm in, I'm in um, Tallahassee and HBCU is FAMU. So you'll see FSU and FAMU colors on a lot of my stuff. And then I'm going to show y'all these. You know what, y'all? I picked up two um, ones that look the same, but not the same. But I could show y'all because the beads are different. They're two different pair of earrings, but <laughs> it's the bead make them same. I have the matches in the um in my little plate over there. So just some little Rasta colored earrings with a little glitter on them. And then these right here, which... I want to show y'all. I have another pair similar. Let me show y'all these. I don't even see the other one right now. But it say I love me. And then this one say self love. Yeah. So I'll probably put them in the same listing. So y'all can see them. I mean y'all see them in the same listing. You can pick and choose which one you want. And then this, these are a pair. I know y'all haven't seen them before, so these are a pair that is one of my hot sellers. I've been selling these since the beginning of doing earrings. This was one of my, and I also make a mirror design. It's a set on the website, but this is one of my original designs. Yep, that's one of my originals. Over there. And then this just a pair that has, you know, a little mud, red, black, and green, and then a little mud cloth on the top. It's always good to have a pair like this in your collection. All right, I'm going to show y'all a couple of mirrors I made. I thought I had. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all this the mirrors. I need to clean them, but this is the um, first mirror hand um, beauty within mirror And it's a self-love and just a queen a black queen And then this is the mirror it looks um, Let me cover that up, but it looks um The mirror is dirty. I need to wipe it down, but it says self-love over here And then I got some glitter going around really pretty right this is a beautiful item to give to someone as a gift so that's one of the beauty within mirrors so dope so dope I have another beauty within mirror but it's not over here and then this one my melanin girl logo and then you got, I got boabble right here Beauty within mirror, the same need be clean. <laughs> mirror, mirror. That's another one, and then we had a dwarf eye, the dwarf a mirror, which um means femininity, beauty is a dinker symbol. So that's this one is a wood stain with a little bit of gold. So that's oh here go the other mirror y'all. This is this one says. Beauty, black is beautiful. Then it has the right down there. So that that's those. And then this another mirror I'm working on. I'm, um, she he's not done yet, but it's Papa Legba, it's Arisha. And then it has a baby name right there. I have some earrings, some Papa Legba earrings. So I think these will go really really good with a. A pair of the earrings and the mirror. It's one of my Orishas. So I'm the beauty within mirrors, y'all. I think that's it. So we <laughs> yeah, that's it, y'all. So I have more I have more videos um coming up. But check out the video to show y'all how to make these. And within that video, there's another video to show y'all how to make 
a African woman um, design. All right. Thank y'all for watching. Salaam, salaam.